Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a project to share with you today along with a quick tutorial. And um, this is part of my um, uh, guest design team project um, that I wanna share with you guys. And this is using, um, I did the baby girl version first, but I do have the tutorial is gonna be in the baby boy collection from Country Craft Creations. And one, I'm so excited to share with you that Tamara from Country Craft Creations has asked me to stay on as a designer versus just the guest designer um, that I was doing for May. So I'm so excited. Again, Tamara, thank you so much. Um, I just, I still can't believe she even asked me. But, um, so this is a part of my design team project. Now, it the design team project was using the baby boy collection kit the 12 by 12 but of course i had to go you know get the eight by eights because i love them they're so cute and you guys are going to keep seeing projects with this just because i'm you know on a baby kick anyways and i like to use collections not specifically what they were meant for so you'll see um in this tutorial where it's not necessarily geared around baby so let's go ahead and start with this first. So this is a six by six pop-up um, easel card. So as you can see, I use the baby girl, but it could either be a baby girl project or you can turn it into like a birthday card. So I just did like a little pop-up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, not a pop-up, but just did um, some layering with the numbers. I have a numbers die that I use, but you can totally use it for something different. So what I did with this one is I used the B sides, and um, this is on the front, but everything else is the B side. So it's this pink gold palette. So let me just take that off and just kind of show you guys real quick what I used on here. Um, I just did, all I did, it's really simple to make, but all I did was just some layering. I did use um, my layering scallop dies that I have here. So that's what I used to get um, this one to make it look like a 3 by 4 card. I mean, um, what do you call it? Ephemera card. No. Journal card. Yeah. Something. A cut apart. <laughs> I don't even know. Is it comedy hour yet? Who knows? And then I just went through out and used um, the pink from my cardstock, but then also the artisan um, pearl card cardstock that she has in her shop. And again, it's going to be a struggle because obviously I can't talk. I used that same cardstock, um, used one of my doily dies here, and just cut that in half. And put that on there. Um, she has Prima flowers um, in her shop too. So that's where this yellow one came from along with the pink one here. The other two are from my stash. And just added some seam binding. A little bit of gold thread right there. Pearl little in, uh, flat backs. And then just a little bit of, um, I don't know, what is that? It's kind of pom-pom trim but not dingly pom-pom trim. And then, of course, I had to use the gold uh, foil paper throughout. And I did, oh, I keep lifting this up and down. Are you guys getting dizzy yet? Mm-hmm. You probably can't see because I can't even see what you can see or not. But I did put Wink Stella on the balloons, on the lamb's little cheek. I have um, glossy accents on the lamb's eye. But you can add all kinds of detail to this. And then... It pops up like that so well, let's see if you guys can see that let me try to hold it as what it would look like so it would look like this standing up and again I added some of the little uh, Prima flowers from um, Country Craft Creation Shop these are all scraps left over from my baby out al mini albums but let me just open it to show you what it looks like in full so this is um, the pink cardstock literally is, you know, just um, six by 12. 
and then you just score it. So that's what we're gonna walk through today. And then I just did a 1 8 inch border. So this was a um, 5 by 7 8 by 5 by 7 8 square. This is gonna be a struggle tonight. tonight. I could feel it already. You guys know how I get with tutorials. I get a little, you know, a little nervous on the tutorials. And then I just added, I used my Graphic 45 die. So I have the um, artisan cardstock here and then just a plain white on the back to, for um, journaling. So you can add a photo to that and then journal. And then that's what that looks like there. And then just a little bit of seam binding. And I did ink my edges with Tim Holtz um, Victorian Velvet, I think it's called, for that pink color. And that just slides in there. And that's what it looks like. So we are going to make one using the Baby Boy collection. So stick with me and let's hope I can get through this. <laughs> okay. So you're going to need your scoreboard. And then uh, you can get whatever cardstock. But you do need a piece that is 6 by 12. And I usually just use a 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit more because you actually need like three squares. So one is going to be six by 12 and then another one that is six by six. So, okay. I don't know why I turned it that way, but here we go. So you're just going to score down the middle and I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this already. So I don't know why I'm showing you guys, but here you go. And, and so you're gonna score down the middle at six and then score at nine, just like that. And that's what it looks like there. And that is all you need to do for the scoring piece. And I do I have to share with you guys, my son moved out today, woohoo! Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not that. I'm not that mom. That's all sad. <laughs> I know it's terrible. I know. I'm, I'm just. I'm excited to get space in our house to move upstairs to the game room. I'm now. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to miss him, but you know, I want to move this craft room. I need a bigger space and a table that doesn't shake when I do tutorials. So you're just gonna score on that, and then the next score line, you're gonna score back. So just like that. Now this cardstock that I'm using is a different one. It does have that little kind of shimmer to it. It is, um, again, from Country Craft Creations, My Colors cardstock, and it's the Irish Cream. So it is matte on the back with no um, texture. The front is textured with a shimmer on it. It's so pretty. I love the shimmer papers. So pretty. So this is what it looks like. Now you need another six by six. And it it's totally up to you. You can make these different, like you could have this color and then you could do a blue if you wanted to for the, the top, but I'm just sticking with the same base. So we have one just like this, six by six. This is what we are going to do. So we're just going to stick it down just like that. And there might be some spots that, you know, you have to trim up and that is totally fine. And let me just see. That is not where we want it. And I did that wrong. What did I do? Oh, yeah. See? Do not fold back. <laughs> fold it the other way. Mountain high. Okay, sorry about that. That doesn't do anything to your paper unless you already stuck it down. So, should look like that. Oh my goodness gracious, Tiffany. And then, what we're going to want to do is just stick it down. So, it looks like this. So, I always just put my adhesive on this first, not on here. So, that way I know I'm doing it right. And for this, I typically like to do mine with score tape, but for the video, um, I'm just gonna use glue. I do have some things prepped already with score tape because I just wanna make sure there's no, 
just want it to be a really good fit and to be a crisp versus sometimes the glue can make it, you know, a little wonky, but not a lot, just sometimes. So I'm just making sure this lines up and I already know just based on our weird little scoreboard that sometimes there's a little extra that happens. Not even just a scoreboard. I don't know. My trimmers sometimes are off too, but it could just be me. Okay, so we have that burnished down. So this is what it looks like. Pops up like that down but let's see do I have a little extra yes I do see I told you I always have a little extra I don't know what it is but it's okay because we are just gonna take that off and you just have to make sure you do it and don't um, cut where the the fold is and some people you know if you don't care about the extra that is totally fine I'm a little anal with it so it bothers me so we're just taking that off, no big deal. So this is gonna be the bottom. So now we have our base. And again, you could do this however you want. And that's gonna drive me crazy too. So let me just trim this up so I can make sure everything is totally square. Sometimes I can let it go, sometimes I can't. Okay, so that is our base, but what we're gonna do is the inside first. I always like do the inside first, it's easier, at least for me. So this is what it is going to look like. And again, this was using the Country Craft Creations exclusive, you could only get it from Country Craft Creations um, Baby Dreams Boy Collection. So this is just the scraps left on my table I like to find different ways to use my scraps. And you don't have to mat these. You guys just know I'm crazy with the matting and I like how sturdy it makes these when they're matted. That is just me. So this is just the initial, what it's gonna look like. So this was originally a five by seven, eight by five by seven, eight square. And same with this one. And then I just cut this to be in between because you know that these are three inches. So it depends on how you like to mat your things. I typically do one eighth inch in on each layering. Some people like a quarter inch, totally up to you. It all looks good. Okay, so like I said, I have some of this ready to go just because I already know that I'm gonna take forever. I'm gonna mess up on something that's why those are, I didn't adhere those together because I was, you know, nervous I was gonna do something crazy. Okay, so we have that. So, oh, and I did wanna say, I inked the edges with uh, Tim Holtz tea dye, but I sometimes like to mix my inks and I use this Stampin' Up Brilliant Blue just on the edge so you don't see it a whole lot but it kind of defines it just a little bit okay so we are going to can you guys see that barely just gonna stick this down and I never get these straight so you know when you see it I know you want to scream it through the camera because I do too when I see it but oh well you just go with it. Okay, so we have that, and then we're gonna glue these ones down. Of course, I left my pen off my glue, so let's see. Oh, not bad at all. And I'm just doing this really fast. And this artisan, um, this artisan. <laughs> This art glitter glue you can get at Country Craft Creations too. It is amazing. But once that stuff is down, it is down for the count. That is some serious glue there. I'm telling you, Tamara is going to fire me. <laughs> She's going to be like, okay, maybe no more tutorials for you. 
Okay, so we'll have that there. And I'm just kind of making sure that they're in between those score lines, and they are. Because you're going to have to fold that up, and your easel card won't work if you are over or too close to the score line. It has to fold nicely. So this is going down. I have a little, we are memory keepers, a little spatula here. I just love this paper. So again, this is baby boy, but I am not using it for baby boy. You're gonna see in a second. I will just have this in my stash for any special occasion. I'm not gonna put a saying on it at all, like a um, sentiment. I'm just gonna leave it open. It could be for a graduation, it could be for a birthday just because and of course you know if you had a mother's day I just love the versatility of this and again this was um, really going after the blue and gold was the focus showcasing the flowers and then the butterflies So this is one continuous print right here. I just cut it in half. And if I had to trim it, I trimmed on the, the outer part so I didn't lose that connection right there. Because your eye will totally ignore that white spot and have that as one piece. Okay, oh my gosh, we made it that far. Ah, we made it. Okay, so again, here's what we're looking at. So now we're gonna build a little stopper. Well, I should say, here's the little stopper because I already built it. <laughs> um, and again, I just had like these narrow little strips left over. Didn't know what I was gonna do with them because they were horizontal. So this made a perfect pocket. And again, highlighting the gold piece right now. So the, all this is, is layered you can you don't have to do all these different layers you can just do two and how I did it on the back which is not how I normally do it did it it'll still work but I'm gonna tell you why so I typically don't do the whole thing so let me show you I don't usually have something right here when I want to tuck something under it, which I'm going to do because I'm still going to treat this as like a little pocket. So on the other one, I just did a little strip, strip, strip like that of chipboard. You can use foam tape. I just been using all the scrap chipboard I have from all my mini albums and folios. So I just want to use it up. So I glued that on there. And like I said, that artisan glue, man. Whew. Art, why do I keep saying artisan glue? Art glitter glue. It is very effective, let me tell you. So, I didn't wanna lose this. I loved this piece, so I'm going with it. We're gonna see if I still can make it work. If not, it's still no biggie. You're just gonna keep going. You could write a sentiment here if you wanted to, and I don't have to use it as a pocket, but here's what we're gonna do. So, we are just gonna glue down the three sides just like so and I had to mark on it to remind myself to not do the entire thing just the three sides okay and then we're gonna just put that I just kind of do like ah, there we go and this piece just so you guys know it's just a random cut five and a half wide by two and three quarters. So you can do it um, skinnier if you wanted to. You don't want to go too wide because you still need to. This is your stopper. Okay, I'm just gonna burnish the back. Make sure it's down good. Okay, so we have that. We're just gonna let that set for a second. 
So we're gonna move this over. So just, we're gonna see if this will work. I don't know, it might not. But I just wanna show you guys. So we are gonna glue these pieces together. So again, they are just scraps. I just wanna show you, if you do not have the Graphic 45 ATC tags that this fits on, you can just use this. That's all I do, and I always glue two together to make it a little bit sturdier um, and more durable. So we're just gonna glue these together. And again, I did ink the edges, and here is, can you kind of see that, where I did the tea dye, and then I just, with the at the edge, did the blue. I don't know, I just like doing that sometimes. Sometimes I get a little crazy with my inking. And this doesn't have to be perfect, because you know it's not gonna be with mine anyways. But I do like how these just add a little bit of fun when giving them to somebody. Okay, let's check that out. We are good. Doesn't have to be perfection, Tiffany, so just go. But oh, I see it's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> I say that and then that happens. Okay. And then I just cut a, a, it's not quite a square, but a square. I just measured this and then I did eighth inch in. And then with my chompers, I rounded the corners. And I'm just doing the edges because I hate it when I do glue in there and then I can still see it once I get it down on the paper. And that's where somebody would write anyways. So we're just doing the edges. You could use your, um, your gun too and tape if you wanted to. But it keeps it smooth. So then we're left with this big giant hole. So all I do is I punch out with my hole puncher, not my hole puncher, my hole punch. Um, let's see, make sure this is on there good enough. Kind of center it. So you have that one on there. And this is, what is this? I think this is my, is this one inch? No. Can't be one inch. Let me look. I'll tell you guys in just a second. Hold tight. Walk through the room. Okay, still holding tight. Oh, let's see. This is, oh no, three quarters of an inch is what I use for this. And then, so let me just show you on this one. I did a double. So then I used my half an inch. Can you see, can you see, it's new lighting, oh my gosh. I did order a new lamp, so we are gonna see if that will work. And I'm gonna want, let's see. I'm literally just punching out a blue for this side here. And again, just eyeballing it. That is good. Oh my gosh, I feel like this video is gonna be so long. Okay, what do we want on that one? Um, hmm. I don't know, oh yeah, let's try this one. So we're just going to put that out for the back. And since it was already solid, oh, but I gotta ink it up a little bit. You could just use the leftover ink that's on your sponge. And then I'll just, see it's just a light little edge. Again, don't even have to do that. I just get a little crazy sometimes. We're gonna stick this on the back. And I have to get my words going in the right direction even though you're not gonna see most of that. So it looks like that, and then we are gonna punch a hole. Just like so. And again, I just eyeball it. I'm never directly in the middle. 
so I really hope are we still recording that would be so bad if we weren't let me see I have all this stuff glaring at me right now okay so let's just test it out oh yes it does still work so you could have it like that or you can have it like this so we have that going and then it will pop up just like so so cute and we are going to start doing the front and there's a lot more you can add to it i'm not going to do everything just because you guys know i get stressed out about really long videos <laughs> i don't know why i guess i just want to hurry up and get it over with but let's see oh got the pin and the glue get that baby in there just gonna put a little bit down okay we're just going to center this, and again, I just have a 1 8 inch border. Burnish. I use that word so much, my friend. I don't know if I told you guys this, but she made me a cute little banner in my craft room that says burnish on it. Because I say it all the time, I don't know why. So here is what it's going to kind of look like. And then I just have, I layered that up. So let's glue this down. And I just put a little bit of glue and I center. So this looks weird because it's crooked, but I'm centering this. I want that as my center. And these doilies aren't always symmetrical. Or maybe it's just me. So right now I'm making a big mess over here. <laughs> My score tape. Okay, and see, I just used, when you get that extra from the paper, I still used it. Okay, nope, I don't like that. I don't want up higher. Go a little higher. Now normally, I don't know why I'm not doing it now, but I usually open up a corner with the score tape, place it where I want it, then I peel back the score tape. So there is that. And then again, just some scrap chipboard. So nothing goes to waste. Put that on there. Now let me put my pen back in my glue. Okay. So I have that. So this was the other half of that other doily that I cut on the first one that is made with the leftover um, artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. And then the base is uh, Irish cream with a shimmer. So very cute. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't even get that even. Woo! Goodness gracious. But no one's going to notice. Just you guys notice. But regular person <laughs> doesn't notice. At least that's just what I tell myself. So I'm just going to do a couple flowers on here to show you guys. And you guys can do this as much as you want or build it as much as you want. So it could be built on top as well as on the stopper. But for this, I'm just going to show... A little bit usually I use my hot glue gun but I don't have it over here at the moment so let's hope that this will dry soon it's usually pretty good it's a good substitute if you don't have a hot glue gun with you and this is a nice fresh bottle 
when it starts getting older, it's like weird. Okay, let's hope that we can get that to dry a little bit. Otherwise, we might have to get the glue gun out. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that set up for a second. So you can see it starting to come. Again, this looks like I had a three by four journal card, but I didn't. I just used the scraps. And all I'm doing right now is grabbing my glue gun in case that doesn't work as much as I want it to. See, I'm very prepared. Oh, my. <laughs> How'd you guys like that? <laughs> and it did not break, thank goodness. Yeah, that had to have been really loud in your ears, so sorry. But it's comedy hour. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so it is setting up a little bit. And I will probably do some flowers up here. Let's just see. I never know. I just start going and no, I cannot build off like other people do. I just start placing. So these are just die cut leaves and I did. Uh, can you see? I, um, I did ink the edges with that blue, only because the, the leaves in the collection have like a blue tint to them. So we will probably end up doing something like that. Let's see if I can get in a, another flower here. What do you guys think? Is it coming along? Yeah, see, it's just, the layering thing is not for me. Mm -hmm. No. Ew. So I'll probably do something like that. Once this like sets. Yes? Okay. Let's see how we're doing. I can't believe I just did that big bang. <laughs> She's really going to fire me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Well, let me know if something like this is even helpful. Like I said, I'm pretty sure most know how to. Um, I'm trying to see, is this even... Nope, still not warm enough yet. So we're still waiting that to warm up and we could get almost get out the hose oh my goodness I seriously keep kicking everything you would think my feet were gigantic or something so I'm just gonna do just a little bit of sparkle in here and all these little dots and I'm gonna do a little throughout and it's nothing major it just adds a little bit of shimmer which I like for me I don't like everything overdone I just like to have moments now we're gonna try this And we have glue. So I have that. This is probably giving everybody anxiety just watching me do these videos. There is that. Like I said, once I'm in my new room this summer, It'll be different because I will have designated spots for my filming. 
which my second, um, not my second, my oldest, my daughter, is supposed to be moving out in July. She's back from college since she graduated this year. So there's that little cluster. Then we can go through, and once I put this flower down, it's gonna keep those leaves down anyway, so you can, um, you know, glue them down too, but hey, why not do two things at once? And I'll probably come back in and maybe add some enamel dots or something to here. So we have that tucked in there. Is this on there good? And I'm going to just clip these. Why am I struggling? Okay, that is good. So then it's gonna pop up like so. Now you could stop here or you can keep going and you can add just like a couple you know little things in I'm just showing you could be something as simple as that you can bulk this up you can trim out or fussy cut out another butterfly bulk that up but I don't like when I go to lay mine down if it's too big I like it to be able to lay somewhat flat but I do love the look of the pop-up. So that is what it would look like. And I'm just gonna glue these down because I do like those there. But you do you. Sometimes I'm like, ah, stop, no more. Then sometimes with other people's projects, I'm like, oh, you know, add some more. <laughs> and I do that with mine. Like literally, it's different when you know you're actually working it versus what you're seeing. So that's why sometimes I like to take a picture of what I'm working on to see what it's looking like. I don't know, it looks different when I look at it through the camera. But I think, yeah, I think that's all we'll do with that. And like I said, maybe I'll go back through and add some enamel dots. I'm not sure. Let's see, do I want that in there? Mm. Mm. We're just going for it. Filling my little shove aside. And again, I'm just touching it because if you look at the paper, there is just a little bit of blue with that green. Okay, so we're just going to lift that, which I can't do very well with my nails. And we are good. Maybe a little bit more that way. There we go. Yes? Okay. I really wish you guys could talk back to me. Or I could hear you laughing when I drop everything. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> here's my quick tutorial on how to do an easel card and also how to look beyond what a collection is. Um, let me just show you guys without this green pad under here. It does not have to be exactly how they were meant to be. So you have what could be a birthday card on this side and then just a um, all occasion card on this side here. And again, they pop up just like that. So you can have that on your desk. I just think they're so cute, but you can add gift cards to them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your comedy hour for free. <laughs> no need to pay here. And be sure to check out Country Craft Creations um, with the new design collection. They have so many collections. Tamara has done an amazing job with um, her new lines. But again, these are 
only at Country Craft Creations. You cannot get them anywhere else. And I do still have a couple mini albums that I'm working on that I haven't wrapped up yet. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being patient during my craziness. <laughs> If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, just keep going. It's all good. No need to give me that thumbs down. <laughs> Maybe a little smiley face, but that's it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.